The gentlemen of the Gotham and St. George clubs were joined on the uptown fields by players from the black communities of Greenwich Village. On October 24, 1840, the editor of the Colored American spoke out on the subject of Sabbath intruders. We wish to call attention to the practice of the lads of our city who, in great numbers, are resorting to the suburbs of the city as high as 25th or 30th Street for the purpose of ball playing. And we wish the parents of our people to look well to their boys, some of whom we are informed by a friend, as well as by the Journal of Commerce, have been seen in those sections of the city on the Sabbath playing ball. A few years later, a group composed, as one put it, of those whose sedentary habits required recreation staked out another part of the old parade. Henry Anthony was interested in the new art of photography, but he worked as a clerk at his father's bank on Wall Street. Alexander Cartwright worked down the street at another bank. Duncan Curry sold fire insurance in the neighborhood. All three lived uptown near Washington Square, and they rode the new railroad home in the afternoon. There was a vacant lot across from the depot at 27th Street, and an informal club took shape. We would take our bats and balls, Duncan Curry recalled years later, and play any sort of game. Sometimes we batted the ball to one another, and sometimes played one oh cat. Another local game was played by doctors, including Daniel L. Adams, who had played the Massachusetts game at Harvard. 